Hey, how's it going everyone? Nick here. So this is going to be a new alien theory video talking about the Praetorian Xenomorph. Now the character is actually a pretty interesting species because we haven't actually seen it on film thus far and it's just been kind of uh, a big part of the expanded universe of aliens and also appeared in pretty much all of the video games for aliens as well. So essentially what I'm going to do is tell you guys what exactly the Xenomorph species is and whether or not we will see it in a future aliens movie. So the Praetorian is one of the final stages in the life cycle of the xenomorph and arguably the most common and widely acknowledged form of xenomorph to emerge from the numerous expanded universe casts. Praetorians serve as guards to their hive's queen or empress, and unlike other xenomorph types, Praetorians rarely operate outside of their hive grounds, which make them pretty rare in appearances. They are among the largest and most powerful xenomorph strains, and visually they resemble their queens, though smaller in size, typically standing at least 10 feet tall. With the possible exception of the Pred Alien in Alien vs Predator Requiem, Praetorians have not been seen on film, like I said, but they have been regular staples of the Alien vs Predator video game series. A Praetorian's most distinguishing feature is its large head crest similar to that of the Queen, which they will often employ to ram targets in a charging attack. Unlike their queens, however, Praetorians do not possess a second pair of arms on their chest or their jaws are filled with metallic teeth, comparable to the lower xenomorph casts. Like queens, Praetorians typically possess longer dorsal tubes that end in sharp points when compared to other xenomorphs that possess these as appendages. Praetorians are dark in color, typically black but sometimes blue, and they obviously tower over their fellow xenomorphs on the battlefield. Despite their enormous size, they can actually rival their speed and agility of the xenomorph siblings, like warriors or soldiers or drones. Praetorians are incredibly strong, and their thick skin, known to be bulletproof in some cases, enables them to shrug off damage that would be terminal several times over for most other xenomorph casts. They are capable of defeating entire squads of human marines single-handedly and are even a match for the Yautja in close quarters combat. Praetorians can spit acid in far larger quantities than other xenomorphs, and will also be able to use their claws and long-bladed tails in slashing and stabbing weapons, making them deadly at pretty much any range. Praetorians are smarter and more cunning than typical xenomorphs as well. However, owing to their size and strength, Praetorians simply have no need for stealth and tactical movement, and in most cases will simply just attack their targets directly. Owing to their role in protecting the queen herself, they will ferociously combat any threats without concern for their own survival or safety, making them pretty dangerous opponents. Despite this, some Praetorians have been known to emit a deafening screech that will summon additional warriors to their aid, and the Praetorian itself will hold back while the lowly warriors attack their targets. There is much speculation on how these beings actually come to be. Arguably the most widely accepted origin is that they evolve from warriors themselves. The exact manner and cause of this evolution are unclear. However, one stated possibility is that the change occurs when a queen selects a warrior from her brood to become a Praetorian. The chosen warrior would begin to produce a pheromone that would cause the rest of the hive to turn against it and attack it. This process would result in the deaths of most such individuals, however, for those that survived and escaped, the pheromone would begin to initiate physical changes in the individual, causing them to grow into the Praetorian form. Once the change was complete, the pheromone would cease to be produced, and the Praetorian would return to their hive and take their place beside the queen. The crusher seen in Aliens Colonial Marines may be a possible variation of the Praetorian spawned from a runner evolutionary line instead of the typical warrior. So personally, this is probably one of my favorite xenomorph types that we have yet to see on film, and it just kind of boggles my mind that we actually haven't seen this version appear in a movie yet because of their notable, you know, existence in the expanded universe, um, all of the video games, various comic books, uh, things of that nature, you know, books, spin-offs, and everything, and it just makes a lot of sense that this would be a natural uh, progression through the Xenomorph's life cycle, and it would be really cool, I think, to see this on film, you know, have the Queen have her royal guards being these Praetorians, and then maybe possibly seeing a Crusher-type Praetorian and just all all these different things it's one of those things that you can really expand upon the aliens uh, society and their life cycle which would be really awesome but anyways leave your thoughts down in the comment section below how do you guys feel about the Praetorian xenomorph and would you actually like to see it in a future movie personally like I said it would make the most sense in a sort of uh, environment where we had a hive setting you know maybe on a distant planet a Weyland-Yutani facility gone wrong who knows but there are a lot of possibilities for this creature 
Also, if you guys are new to the channel and you like this video, subscribe for more Alien and Predator content here at the Hybrid Network. My name is Nick and I'll catch you guys next time.